Hey guys, it is me, Mary B. I am back with another video. Today we are playing a Flash game that I found online. It's called The Grey Rainbow, and I heard it has a pretty good story. Um, it's got some pretty good ratings. Um, it was published March 14th of last year. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, let's start. It's already got a really good soundtrack. I really like this. It was a typical summer afternoon, gloomy and lifeless. The detective looked out the dirty window at the city. The view seemed composed entirely of gray, ugly skyscrapers. In fact, everything seemed to be bland and uninteresting. Same as any other day. I can totally speak English. Sometimes it seemed his life had become nothing but routine. Not a happy thought, but probably true. And he knew other people felt the same. He could see it in their eyes. Dullness. Hmm. However, something happened. The air around him shimmered. He looked around, scared, but there was nothing to do. A strange light engulfed him, and he disappeared. Oh no! The gray rainbow. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. The gray rainbow. Oh, I have to click. Oh my gosh, it's Princess Bubblegum! Hi, Princess Bubblegum. Beautiful woman with immeasurably deep eyes is looking at you calmly. Still disoriented, you try to think about what has happened to you. Suddenly, you remember the weird sensations just a few moments before. What happened? Where am I? Greetings. I have brought you here to me. I suppose there is no easy way to tell you, but you are not in your on your world anymore. What do you mean? You trippin'. Exactly like I said. This is a different world, not unlike your own, but different in many respects. It is very much like a world that exists in your stories, and perhaps dreams. Okay, Princess Bubblegum. Funny you should mention dreams, as this very well feels like one. But tell me, dream or no dream, why bring me here at all? Okay. I kinda like the writing so far. Because my world is in danger. Oh, come on. I was fine until you called me here. Something strange is slowly coming upon us. It is the grayness that can be seen in the sky. It is the void that threatens to overcome our world, to erase all magic and life. And I... I cannot stop it. I don't think anyone can, but maybe you can- What?! You don't think anyone can, but you think I can. Some random person that you just pulled from some random plane of existence. I don't get it. That's a pretty big maybe. How can you be so sure? Because I have dreamt of you- Okay... Not an ordinary dream, but a vision. In this vision, a voice both motherly and kind spoke to me. It told me about you, told me to bring you here. Show him the way to the blue peaked mountains, it spoke. His journey of change starts but with a single step, but it must start in solitude. Um, hold on, that sounds insane. I agree, that is insane. But if I was in this situation, I feel like I would say, and why, why me? I do not know. Each of us must discover his own purpose in life. I'm a girl! Have you ever felt like something was wrong with your world, with your life, and with the life of those around you? Yes. Yes. Good. Because what I've seen of your world, it seems a sad and lonely place, colorless and bland, and decidedly unhappy. And it is affecting us as well now. Come, let me show you. I don't want to follow her, but okay. She extended her hand as if to show him something. Then she hesitated. You must realize something. In this world, magic exists. I can accept that. It is tied directly to our lives. And the color is tied to magic. No one can exist without the other. And no one can say that without magic there is... What? So, I'm about to show you what may not mean much to you, but it breaks my heart every time I see it. Now come with me. Her face. That's kind of creepy. He looks like kind of like Sheriff Graham from um, Once Upon a Time. Look. Oh, <gasps> pretty! One second. <gasps> okay. The view caught his breath. It was beautiful. A uh, oh, I know that word, but I'm not going to try to say it. Of colors and wonder that stretched as far as the eye could see. Merely looking at it stirred long forgotten feelings within him. If he ever felt something missing from his life, he had found it here in this place. It's so pretty! It's actually nice. Um, looks like something somebody in my art class would do. This is wonderful. Yes, but look up at the sky. Oh, there's that gray rainbow we were talking about. 
And he did, and he saw a graying rainbow. In this world of magic and color, the grayness stood out like a vicious scar in the light blue sky. It felt wrong, and also dangerous. This is the danger I face. If my vision is correct, you can stop this from happening to my entire world. I can offer no other certainties and promises. Will you help? This is certainly a strange dream. Still, no reason not to humor her. Yes. It's never a dream. It is never a dream. Don't you read books? Okay. Thank you. A great burden is lifted. Here, I want to give you something. This is a map of my kingdom. Of my kingdom with it. You'll never use your way. And this is a book of answers. A precious book from my library. It will help you if you need guidance. Oh, and this happened. Everyone is born with only one breath, and it is a precious thing. I have given you a part of mine. It will allow you to understand and communicate with all living creatures. Um, okay. If you just need an excuse to kiss somebody, I guess, you know, I guess that's a okay excuse. Um, if you are to help us, you must travel forward to the Blue Peaked Mountain. Here, I have marked it on your map. There, hopefully, you will find answers of what must be done. I'll help you as much as, okay, I'll help. Ah, uh, you still think this is a dream? She thinks for a moment. I suppose it is possible. Who knows where dreams exist or where they are? Blah, 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 blah. Dreams are only part of us. Of everything that is our true selves exist? Okay. Maybe this is a dream. Don't worry, I'm glad to be of help. See ya. Strange lady. I have a lighter. My trusty lighter. Hmm. Okay, where do I go? Map. Okay, where am I? Some a simple place, kingdom, um, um, somewhere, nowhere. Where do I go? I'm very confused. Where do I go? What do I do? Help me. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Um, I am a very smart book. Go to the Blue Peaked Mountains. Explore. Okay, Blue Peaked Mountains. There. Yay! We don't have to school tomorrow, you guys. So I'll be able to record more. Okay, so the detective started his journey. Having said goodbye, he set off to the Blue Peaked Mountain. He traveled for days, the mountain continually on the horizon. That is Blue Peaked until one day. He arrived at the foot of the mountain. The walls were completely smooth, even slick to touch. Okay, that is going to be a nightmare. The mountain was impossibly high, no visible way up there. At that moment, something caught his eye. A strange mist in the branches of a nearby tree. Not having any better idea... At the moment, he decided to investigate. Um. I recognize this track. What is this from? That's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. I think it's from, like, Pet Vet or something. I think the game was called. Tree Sap. Hmm, very sicky. Oh, somebody Snapchatted me. You guys are gonna be in a Snapchat. Let's see, it's from Taylor. Let's go to the woods. Taylor says, Taylor says, hey. Let's say hey to Taylor, you guys. Ready, one, two, three. I want you to say hey, Taylor, in one, two, three. Hey, Taylor! Okay, back to the game. Um, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Come on. Okay. Uh, it's very sticky. Sticky sap. So, looks like a campsite. Let's light it. Let's light the fire. Gonna light my fire. Hey! What do we do? Although it looks pretty colorful, the forest still feels dangerous. Oh, here we go. We're trying to look at the mist. One second. I'm recording for YouTube. For YouTube. You in a vid. Yay, sorry guys. Okay, so as the detective looked, oh, I don't have a lot of time left, so we are going to stop here. Um, Be sure to like and comment. I will be back with part two as soon as you can. Please click that sub button and join the MB Army today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.